at some point. We are all going to be convinced, including the Reserve Bank, inflation has been beaten, it's coming down, the interest rates will start to come down, or at least some of the fixed mortgage rates. Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to another year of trying to figure out what's likely to happen with interest rates, the overall state of the economy, inflation, and quite clearly, uh, the housing market. About a year ago, uh, we saw the likes of the one-year fixed mortgage rate at around about 3.7%. We're now quite a bit higher at 6.4%. The three-year fixed mortgage rate was around about 4.7%, and now we're at around about 6.7%. Uh, and ever since November 23, when the Reserve Bank responded to the high 7.3% uh, inflation rate, or 7.2% in fact, by warning about recession might be needed, interest rates going higher, higher uh, for New Zealand, there's been a lot of concern about how much higher, in fact, interest rates would go. Now, from where I'm sitting at the moment, I can see some evidence already that the increases in interest rates uh, last year, which I've already mentioned, and the extra scary words used by the Reserve Bank late in November, are having a definite impact in the economy, in the housing market, and you know, eventually that's the sort of thing which uh, pushes down um, your inflation rate. If we have a look, for instance, at the ANZ's monthly business outlook survey, we've got now a record, as in uh, early December survey results. Results, a record uh, net 70% of businesses having a bad outlook for the economy, a net 21% are planning to cut back uh, on their uh, investment levels, and a net 16% are looking at reducing staff numbers. These are pretty bad results. Those last two ones were actually positive uh, in early November, their previous survey. So the outlook for the economy on that basis essentially isn't too good. And we can see from data on job advertisements that the labour market is softening up. That's the sort of thing which will eventually lead to reduced wages growth. Not really, I'd suspect, in the first half of this year, but maybe as we get through 2023, we will start to see some of those wage growth demands just starting to pull back a bit and businesses simply unable to give the sort of increases that people are looking for. In the housing market, uh, we don't have much new data as yet ever since you know, the Reserve Bank's monetary policy statement in late November, apart from my various surveys. And I conducted one uh, just a few days ago, my first for this year of mortgage advisors, and it shows that the sharp decline in observations of first home buyers and investors coming forward looking for advice when they're looking to buy a house, um, that happened in December, it basically was sustained in January. The market is fairly depressed out there. The buyers essentially uh, have gone on strike. And this is the sort of thing which is going to lead to quite a fall in house building uh, this year and through next year, and I suspect through 2025 uh, maybe uh, as well. But it also, of course, bespeaks of reducing inflationary pressures. Look, the story for 2023 is going to be at some point. We are all going to be convinced, including the Reserve Bank, inflation has been beaten, it's coming down, the interest rates will start to come down, or at least some of the fixed mortgage rates. But the problem, of course, is that we really don't know when we're going to reach that collective uh, decision or opinion out there. There's an inflation number coming out on January 25, and that's going to set the scene for the next uh, two to three months. And many of us are starting to think that that could actually surprise a little bit on the low side. We've seen good inflation and wage numbers in the United States, and that's fed through to some small declines in wholesale interest rates. And so let me just finish up by saying I remain 90% confident that for the fixed mortgage rates for two years and beyond, we're at the peaks at the moment. That doesn't mean they're going to go down in a hurry. That's still, I think, a few months out. Um, for the floating rates, they're going to go up pretty much in lockstep with further increases in the official cash rate. So you could get another 1% and a little bit more going on floating mortgage rates. For the one-year fixed mortgage rate. It's a 50-50 call, but you could easily see a bit more of an increase coming through uh, there. But look, just a key warning, at some stage, we are going to see this view of, oh, this is as bad as interest rate gets. 
don't think for a second that means we can start taking solid picks on how rapidly interest rates will come down. Um, we simply don't know what that speed is going to be. And in the United States, for instance, although there's great confidence now that inflation has peaked, there's not yet confidence that inflation is going to settle comfortably at 2%. And I suspect that's going to be the story for New Zealand this year as well. Confidence inflation probably peaked, but hitting 2%, it's going to take a wee bit while to, for that to happen. And so the Reserve Bank will be cautious and may not ease monetary policy until next year. Early, uh, the, uh, late this year is, is a possibility. We'll see how it goes. All the best out there.